Mashekete zendele Makata zangada rabobo sondele ribababas Leshega rabababobos Leshagada rabababababababas Makata zandala rabababas Matizege de rebobo shandala rabababas Jesus. Wonderful day we pray. Amen. Father, we commit this service unto your hand. And I pray, O oh Lord, that your spirit will move in our midst. And I pray that the angels already there will work wonders in the lives of your people. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Spirit of the living God, I ask that you give me utterance to bring the word of God in simplicity and accuracy. Lord, let your word in my mouth not be, let your word in my mouth not be in the eloquence of men to us, but let it be in demonstration of power and your spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, wonderful Father. Jesus, wonderful name we pray. Let somebody shout the loudest, hallelujah. God bless you, shall be seated. Isaiah chapter 59, verse 1. I read from verse 1. Isaiah chapter 51, 59, verse 1. All right. Behold! The Lord's hand is not shortened. That's why I say why I said something, that the Lord's hand is not short. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save. Neither is his ear heavy, that it cannot hear. Verse 2. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God. And your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear you. Verse 3. For your hands are defied with blood, and your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies, your tongue has muttered perverseness. All right, let's go. Okay, go to Isaiah chapter 1, verse 15. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 15. All right. When, and when you spread forth your hands, I will hide my hand, I will hide my eyes from you. Yea, when you make many prayers, I will not hear. Your hands are full of blood. Now, I will, I will talk about what I call sin is a blocker of blessing. Sin is a blocker, block, car of blessing. And let nobody start faint. Amen. We are going to we want to dig deal with the sin, then get to where God is, wants us to be. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many people have sought deliverance several times, prayed prayer of deliverance several times, and oil has been poured upon them several times, but their case did not change. They have done that several years. Nothing happened. And it does appear as if God does not have power to see what is to do what he said he will do. And some of them, some people have really said that people are beginning to ask, where is your God? Every day you keep on going for prayer, going for uh, a church, church. What is the evidence of that? And many people, because of that, had also ventured into error. Because they didn't receive God's attention through prayers. I remember a brother. Somebody told him to come to God to do it. To meet me. And when he came that time, the season of change was going on, which was good. So he joined the season of change. And prayed, prayed well. Prayed another, uh, another thing of the, he came and prayed. And he thought that God didn't do this thing very fast. In fact, it was a trained pilot. It, but he didn't get to work. So he was doing everything to find, to get a breakthrough. 
And so, after two seasons of change, he went to consult a satanic, go, went to a, 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 an herbalist. After going to season of change, change you know season of change, to herbalist to consult. The herbalist told him, sir, go back to where you are coming from. We can't help you here. We don't have help for you here. That place you left is where you go. And so he came back. It was when he came back that he told me the story. And he attended one or two uh, seasons of change. I followed him up. Now he got a job as a pilot. He's now working. He's, uh, and he got married. For that time, he was due for marriage. No marriage. No work. A pilot, no, nothing. But his mind, there was something in his mind because it is somebody who's not properly born again that you, after prayer, you say, let me go back to Egypt. It was then that he senses the the Egyptians helped him to know that it's not part of them. That he should go back to where he's going. And there are many people like that in the church. And they're coming for deliverance. And they, they make pastors to suffer. We pray and pray and pray because the joy of a pastor is when prayer has brought result. But those people, because of what they do in, close, in their closet, they are not allowing results to come. Bible says it's not that God is not strong enough to deliver, but there's something that's not allowing him, allowing him to do what he should do. There's something that's not allowing him to do what he should do. And that thing is what I'm trusting God that we we'll deal with today. So that we can have our breakthrough. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 28, verse 13. That whosoever that covereth his sin will not prosper. Whosoever that covereth his sin will not succeed. The other way of saying will not succeed. And God has been faithful that even though you have sinned, if you come to me, I will forgive. Amen? Now, but one of that thing that used to happen in that scripture. It says, Whosoever that confesses this sin and forsaketh it. But there are people, if you say confess now, they may confess, but there's no, there's, they don't want to forsake. Amen? And the God is more intelligent than all of us. You can't deceive him, you can't deceive him, Pastor. I remember a story of a girl, a little girl. The father, the father used to go and harvest where he didn't sow. Where people are planted during the harvest, he will go and the harvest is a, the father is a thief. And so one day he carried the girl and positioned the girl somewhere and say, be watching for me. If somebody's coming, just let me know. So when he goes to carry out his operation, the girl will care, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. Daddy will come. What is it? Or that nobody. Say, why are you disturbing this oppression now? He will go back again. As you leave, he asks you what to do. The girl will say, Daddy, Daddy, somebody, somebody. Daddy will come. Where is the person? Nobody. What is it now? Do you like this? You don't want us to eat, or what is it? By the time when that I came, the girl called him back again. By the time I came back, the girl told him that somebody. He said, Where is the person? There's somebody. Somebody's <laughs> there's somebody seeing you there. And so whatever thing you are doing, thinking that nobody sees, the one who will deliver you sees it. It's not man that delivers, it's God that delivers. And so he sees it. And you know that the one who put that bondage. Is the devil. Is the devil. In first Cor in first in first John chapter three, that's it. I want to show you something. First John chapter three, verse eight. All right. Let's read it together. It's, he that committed sin is of the devil. If you like be a bishop, if you like be a pope. If you like be, be a superintendent, once 
You commit sin. Where, where do you go? You have caught the devil. And when you get enter there, <laughs> where you find yourself in the camp of the devil, he must do something. He must do something to show you that he came there. Particularly, when you are praying, others are praying, and you are binding, and you are calling fire and thunder, and you go and commit the sin. Satan will say, others are calling, are, pray, are binding there, you are binding. I've caught you now. By the time you, do, by the time you know it, he will multiply the bondage. And somebody will be saying, I've been going for prayers. I didn't get answer. It is time for us to examine ourselves so that we can get freed. When such, such sins, they lead to deep bondage. And unless you deal with them, it will be difficult for, for, for deliverance to happen. Praise the Lord. And that's what I want to draw our attention to today. That as many that have not lived right, you need, to put your, you need to put your life in order so that God can bless you. God is not a wicked God. God is not a wicked God. And that's why was, his hand is not too short that he cannot deliver. His ear is not too heavy that he cannot hear. But it is a sin that is holding us back. Praise the Lord. Now, what we are saying is that somebody will change his lifestyle. Somebody will decide from this day, I will continue this thing I'm doing. Now, let me ask you a question for goodness sake. The thing you have been doing for several years, that thing you have come, what has it given you? What has it given you? Where has it taken you? No, take it yourself now. Take it. That thing, that thing, that thing you have been doing, that's not allowing God to bless you the way it's supposed to be. Have you getting anything from there? What you are asking from God is, is much bigger than whatever satanic benefit you are getting from that. And that's why you should relinquish it. You should stop it so that God can beautify your life. There's a beauty that God has kept for you in heaven. And you want to replicate here on earth. But because of your lifestyle, God is not having his way, the way he wants to. He wants to showcase you. He wants to do, some, he wants to do something in your life, particularly this year, that those who have been mocking you will now say, I want to follow you to serve your God. We can no longer continue the way we used to do it. Amen. We need to search ourselves. In 2 Corinthians chapter 35, Paul speaking said, examine yourself. 2 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 5. He said, examine yourself whether you be in the faith. Prove your own self. Know ye not that you are know ye not your own how that Jesus Christ is in you is said to be reprobate. I'm sure we are, nobody's people today. Amen? Examine yourself and ask God whatever it is that I held my life captive. I know you can do all things. Amen? I know you can do all things. Invade my life. Do something in my life. Amen? Now, the truth of the matter is that if you're a child of God, and you are living in sin deliberately. It's not be, you are the one who chose to live in sin. The power to live to the power to live holy has already been given to us. And sin does not benefit anybody. The sin is a destroyer. Sin is a waster of destiny. Sin can destroy can destroy breakthroughs, and that's why I want to to deal with that before we go into ministration. Amen? Now, your own personal sin can affect your own life and also affect the life of your children. Every wrong decision you take, every decision you take, if it's wrong, it's going to affect you and your generation wrongly. If it's right, it's going to affect rightly. If you commit sin, 
the same will affect to and your family. Praise the Lord. And some of us are suffering because of the sins of our parents. And those sins must expire today. And I want you to be willing to say, Satan, I'm not going to do again. I want to follow God fully. The power to follow God fully is already in you. That's the seed of God, if you're a child of God, that can make you be fully. And with that seed, you become victorious in all your battles. You become um, victorious in whatever that confronts you. Amen? In 2 Samuel chapter 21, Second Samuel chapter 21, from verse 1 to, to 8. All right? Let's read it together. Let's read it together. Then there was a farmer in the days of David, three years, year after year, and David inquired of the Lord, and God answered, It is for Saul. And for his bloody house, because, because he slew the Gibeonites. Somebody has, has done what was contrary to God's law and is now affecting the generation after. Amen? Now, David, there was famine in Israel for three years, and David did not understand why this should be so. First year, second year, third year. Apparently, they, they, they have involved some economists and they said they don't have physical reason. We don't have economic reason why this should be so. David now said, okay, let me go and find out from God what is happening to us. And when he went to God, God said somebody has done something that is affecting people now. And the person who has done this thing has died. <laughs> the thing did not catch up with him when he was alive. He has done it. He's dead now. Now the people are suffering for it. Verse 2. And the king called the Gibeonites and said unto them, Now the Gibeonites were not of the children of Israel, but of the remnant of the Amorites, and the children of Israel had swam unto them, and Saul sought to slay them in his zeal to the children of Israel. To the children of Israel and Judah. Verse 3. Wherefore David said unto the Gibeonites, What shall I do for you? And where shall I make the atonement that you may bless the inheritance of the Lord? Now, David had discovered there was a sin. Now, what do I do for us to get out of this matter? How do we handle this sin so that we can be free? We are, there's something that is working against us. Now, he, went, he took a step forward to ensure that he got that thing rectified. And that's why we are today. today. Anything that you know, and some of us know it already, there's something we are doing. I know that God is not happy. And you are still doing it and you are praying. Amen. Some of you are some of you are visiting um, um, like that brother told you the story. Some are still carrying charm and they are praying, praying that God will answer them. They are doing between um, that's why what Elijah said. Why do you falter between op two opinions? If it's God, follow God. If it's bad, follow bad. Why do you behave that way? <laughs> and there are people who are doing that. that. There are people who are faltering, like the bro that brother told you. After season of change, he went to do Bahala before they told him, go back to season of change. That thing is, don't you have anybody? Amen? That thing, you can't, you can't, that thing that they are that giving you, you can't help anybody. It's a stopper of blessings. It's a waster of opportunities. Ah, I remember some years ago, about 1985 or 86. But I, I didn't know anything about the charm and so on. That time was the time uh, the man called um, IBB was the president of Nigeria. And uh, that time, that what they call austerity measure. And that was austerity measure. 
describe the future as being bleak. And so everybody had to sit. And at that time I was having one of my friends told me that 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 we can we can take me to a place where they can do something. I never did, I never did that kind of thing before. So I say, let me go and find that kind of thing. Let me go and see what they are doing there. So he took me to he, had, he paid everything money he was going to pay. And uh, after we got to one bush, the, 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 I will mention the place. We got to the place, and the, the man told me that the oracle will call me very soon. I said, okay, I'm here. Let me see how the oracle is going to operate here. And all of a sudden, I had something in the bush. The man says, calling me. I say, what? <laughs> that's, that's not my name. <laughs> and he had the... He says, he's calling you. I said, I said, no. That's not my name. That's what I didn't know. And so the thing started talking. The man was interpreting. He was interpreting what the thing was saying. And I'm going to work in that time. And I can't tell you I had told him that one before. I told the man. And I'm going to work in the bank. And this is my friend I should... I should remember him more. And they gave me, they gave me some, if, okay, uh, that's, uh, as, I was, but as I was coming out of the bush, that man told me, something came upon him, I was up again that time. So he came upon, and the man turned back and said to me, anything you want, if you pray to God, he will answer you. I didn't ask him, was it, something came up. we are in the bush, we are coming out of the bush from his uh, other place. And he said, anything you want, if you pray, God will answer you. Okay. So when I when we came out, because he had collected money from my friend, he had he had to give me something to tie. He tied something. I said to me, anytime I want to move out, I will put a like yellow um, yellow powder. So some of you know what I'm talking about. I, <laughs> so I put yellow powder and sprinkle and rub my face. <laughs> anytime I do that thing, Wahala will see. of a sudden that thing turned my life upside down the favor I used to get before the thing scattered it the thing the, the, the thing I, I used to enjoy the thing scattered it and one, when I noticed the trend I said no 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 wait a minute something is wrong now so I prayed that and I said Mr. Man whatever you are I brought you here to, to help me now you have become a source of trouble in my life. You are not good. I carried it and destroyed and threw it. I told my friend, throw that thing away. It's rubbish. Throw that thing away. That's how I, I eventually went for the river to, to set myself free. Now, now, and God ensured, God ensured that that thing, those things they said didn't work. Because if it will work, maybe you want something to, ah, those are wonderful. It didn't work. When uh, in those days, when there was Alpha Macham Bank, many of us who are they remember that the a bank called Alpha Macham Bank. Those days, the Macham Bank was everywhere. My uncle was the chairman of the Alpha Macham Bank, and he will tell them, "I want to put in land there, and I want to. He has a good result as well. I want, I, I want to. I want to." <laughs> there was something not allowing him to do that. I want to put him there. That's how he continued to say uh, the, the, the man died, the bank closed. He didn't put me there. Now, that, there was another one. One of my uncle who was a, a general manager of Comet Matam Bank. And that one took my CV. That I was working in the audit office of the general for the treasury. He took my CV and taking it. Uh, from my own understanding. He used my CV to prescribe the kind of office I wanted in that bank. So as I came, they called me for interview. I was the only one they called. And because God did not want it, the people say they canceled it. I say we will call you at that time. It is not the policy of the bank to interview only one person. I said, okay. And that, it was later I realized that because of the words they spoke in the bush, God didn't want it, otherwise God, what they may be thinking, ah, this is not powerful, no, they're not, they're not powerful.
They are rubbish. Amen. Now, why I say this story, if you think they are helping you, they are destroyers, they are wasters. And sometimes, some of them, God can make them to tell you the truth. Praise the Lord. And so, if you are pottering between two opinions, leave it. Confess God squarely. If you are looking for a husband, and you say, they say, I was sleep with him before. Okay, you have been sleeping. Did he marry you? That's, did he marry you now? <laughs> Stay clean with God, and God will perfect everything in your life. Somebody say, power of sin. Lose your hope from my life. In the name of open your mouth and pray. Pray. Male broko sheke tere bosi. Oshendele re baba. Le kata pa ka santa kuru. Le kata zaga da raba shendele re baba. Le koto zaga da raba ba shendele bobos. Mara de zegele re babush. La kata zegele re baba. La kata zaga da rabush. Magada zegele re bobo shandala raba ba. Le kata zaga da rabo bo shendele re baba. Jesus, let me pray. Amen. Shall we go back to that second Samuel 21? Verse 3 now. Alright. Um, verse 4, please. And the Gideon has said unto him, now, now, David had discovered the source of the problem that someone has committed sin that affected us. Now he, he has set out to rectify it. He has set out to, to rectify that sin. And now we, he went to give you and I said, we, I, I give you and I said unto him, we will have no silver, nor gold, or salt, nor of his house, neither for, his, for us shall that kill any man in Israel. And he said, what, what ye shall say, that will I do for you. Verse 5. And they answered the king, the man that consumed us and that devised against us that we should be destroyed from the many in any, any coast of the Israel. Verse 6. Let several men of his sons be delivered unto us. Now, those men, are they the ones that committed the sin? Are they the ones that did that thing? It said, let several men of his sons be delivered unto us, and we will hang them unto the Lord in Gibeah of Saul, whom the Lord did choose. And the king said, I will give them. Verse 7. But the king spared the people said, okay, let's stop it there. Praise the Lord. And now, so what David did was to inquire what is the problem, and he discovered it was a sin that somebody committed that is affecting the nation of Israel. And he set out and made sure that that was completed and the problem stopped. Today, whatever sin that is energizing bondage in your life, that sin must stop. In the name of Jesus. That sin must stop. The, the God that, that is our deliverer is the Holy God. It does not behold sin. And you can't say, okay, let me close my eyes against sin and be delivering you. No. You can't do that one. You must take it away for him to deliver. You must take it away. In First Peter chapter 1, verse 15 to 16. First Peter ch chapter 1, verse 15 to 16. It says, but as he which called you is holy, so be holy in all matter of conversation, verse 16, because it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. And nobody, if you are telling, if you are saying to yourself, Ah, it is difficult to be holy, well, it means you are not born again. Amen? Because he who said, Be holy, is the one who said, Be ye holy, has departed in you seed of holiness. He has said to you that sin will not have dominion over you. 
He said so. And so he expects us to be holy. And in Obadiah chapter 17, in that place they say there is deliverance, there is holiness there. If you call Obadiah 17, Obadiah has only one chapter. Obadiah 17. He said, but upon Mount Zion, like, that's like a place where we are now, shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. Holiness is important for you to possess their possession. If you, after being delivered here, you go and plunge yourself into sin, possessing their possession may be difficult, or will be difficult. Let me be bold to say according to it. Amen. After we prayed, and the yokes are broken, and you are set free, and you go and step into sin again, you, you will not possess your possession. That one day you come back. Praise the Lord. And now, if you are, it's good, it's good to pray for mercy, you. Amen. But mercy has the requirements. What are the requirements? I have, I have sinned. Lord, have this, forgive me. I will not sin again. Do you understand it? Do you understand it? But if you, if you have sinned, Lord, forgive me, and you are going to sin again. <laughs> I don't think it will work. Amen? I don't think it's going to work. Because in that chapter, it says, if you confess and forsake, if you only confess and never forsake, I don't think God will um, allow it to work. And that I want to provoke you that after today's prayer, keep away from sin. Anyone that listens to sin, keep that person away. Anybody that wants to pollute your life in sin, run away. Because apart from what you're going to suffer on earth, there's also somewhere that is not palatable for anyone to go to. Amen? I, I hope, I hope you, are, you are still happy with me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, in, in uh, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 26, I want to say this to those who think, let us commit sin and that we can confess. Mm-hmm. Let us commit sin. And that, okay, let's see it together. For if you, if we sin willfully, deliberately, purposely, after that you have received the knowledge of the truth, <laughs> there remaineth no more sacrifice for the sin. Deliberately, you know that this is bad, though, but I'm going to do it after I can confess to God. I don't think it's, a, it's, it's as easy as that. Deliberately. If you make me say that, but deliberately. You say, I, I, God will understand. You must make up your mind to say, I, this cannot proceed anymore. I can't continue this campaign. It has not benefited me. So why should I continue in, in it? Amen? The good news is in John, in 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. That's the good news there. That's available to everyone. First John, let's read together. One, two, three, go. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to give us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And that's what he's going to do for those who we confess sincerely. And those who we confess with the intention not to proceed with the sin. Confessing with the intention to, produce, to proceed the sin, to proceed, to proceed to the sin, will not help anybody. I want to make up my mind today. Lord, I will not live in sin anymore. And let me tell you the truth. The more you become holy, the more it becomes impossible for you to stand in your life. The more you become holy, the more it becomes impossible for arrows to prosper. That's the truth. Amen? Now, if you want 
the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to be your God. <laughs> you must do what Shadrach and Abednego did. You must do it. You must stand with God. You can't, you can't be living in a, a rest, you can't be living in sin and expect the God of the saints to fight for you. You must, you must make up your mind to live your life as a saint so that the God of the saints will always be your God. Amen. And that's what I'm calling all of us to today. Shall we rise up on our feet? Shall we rise, please? Thank you, Jesus. Now, I want you to, to search yourself. You know yourself. You know your life. Now, talk to God yourself. Tell him, Lord, I'm tired of this thing. I'm not going to proceed further. Forgive me. Give me the power to live fully. Let the yoke of sin be broken in my life. Lift up your voice and pray now. Pray now. If it's a witch is die, you will shout now. This one is stronger than witch is die. <laughs> if you do it well as you are talking, the yoke will be breaking. As you are talking, the yoke will be breaking. Maseketi rebosika, rokoto praka shanta karibosika. Lakata Pokoto Ribas, Makat Azege de Rebosh, Lekatas, the blood of Jesus, oh, the blood of Jesus, oh, the blood of Jesus, it's washed. White as Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. He was for holy living. I want to give my life to Christ so that I can become a sin. I will know, so that I can overpower sin. If you are here, can I see your hand? I want to surrender my life to Jesus Christ so that I can begin to live holy. And if you are lifting your hand up, can you come? I want to live holy. Now, other people, you can be praying. Lord Jesus, set me free from, 
for Sina Soro. Turn that song to prayer. If you are here, I want to give my life to Jesus Christ before we start praying now. All right? It's okay. Now, I'm going to call on that set of people again. Thank you. Now, if you have been struggling, Sorry, sir. Now, if you have been struggling with sin, you find that I don't want this sin, but I don't know why I keep on calling to it. This sin, has, I, and that's coming to you say, oh, I've got it again. I want to, if you are in that category, please come out so that power of, power of God will break that power now. That any power that is dragging you to sin, I don't want to live this type of life, but I don't know why I always find myself doing it. Now, if you are here, please come fast. There are many of you like that. As you are coming, tell the Lord that sin and tell him to take it away from you. Let that power be broken today. Now, those in the, tell God to set you free. Those in the, in the, in the, in the congregation. Pray that God Almighty we set you and you have free from any sin. Every ancestral sin. Pray. Washing for you rain for me. There are still more people that are supposed to come. There are still more people that are supposed to come. There are still about five people that need to come. You are weary. Come on. You should be tired of praying without getting results. There are still more people that need to come. There are still about four more people. The mercy of God is available now. The power of God is ready to break that yoke. Jesus, let me pray. Lord, I bring your children onto your hand. Lift up your hands, please. But I pray for them right now that the power of sin be broken in their lives. In the name of Jesus, let the power of holiness possess them now. In the name of Jesus, Lord, from this day, give them victory all around. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Thank you, wonderful Father. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. God bless you. You are set free. Go put your hands together for Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now shall we rise up again? Lift up your hands and say, Pass me not to gentle sin. If you're here, my humble cry, you are my humble cry. Oh Lord, thou art calling to the past. Savior, Savior.
are going to pray right now. Say, any power, any power. using my past sins, using my past sin to torment my life. To torment my life. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Perish. Perish. Say any power. Any power. Using my past sins. Using my past sins. To torment my life. To torment my life. Perish by fire. Perish by fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Makata Zegedebobosh. Rekata Zandara Baba Sundol. Resegede Rebasa Katagada Sadala Raba. Rokoto Zendele Rebabas. Masagada Ragoto Zendele Rebabas. Resegede Rebos. Masagada Rasonkoto Shede Rebas. In Jesus, let me pray. Hey. Any yoke. Any yoke. That entered my life. That entered my life. I my past sins. As a result of my past sins. Break and scatter. Die and scatter. In the name of Jesus, pray. Every yoke. That entered my life. As a result of my Break and scatter. Break and scatter. Break and scatter. The sins of my parents. Using the sins of my parents. To torment my life. To torment my life. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Say powers. Powers. Using the sins of my parents. Using the sins of my parents. To torment my life. To torment my life. Die. 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 Result of my past sins. As a result of the sins of my parents. As a result of my sins. Oh God arise. Oh God arise. Restore unto me now. Restore me now. Everything I lost. Everything I lost. As a result of my past sins. As a result of my past sins. As a result of the past sins of my parents. And as a result of In the name of Jesus. In the name of your voice. Rosheke. Rato se ketere bobo shedere bos 
Jesus, number one. Jesus. Jesus, number two. Jesus. Jesus, number three. Jesus. Jesus, number four. Jesus. Jesus, number five. Jesus. Jesus, number six. Jesus number seven. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. The power, the, the power is moving now. From person to person. Those who are ready to get it. Number one person, collect your own now. Number one. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Let the power move now. 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 Rekete pa kote. Sara suri babas. Ye bari basukata. Rasekete re babas. Ye te re babas. Santa Santa Santa. Ye te re babas. Ye te kati. Magere sekete re babas. Zande 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 zande. Sara suri re babas. Ya masagaros. Oh yes. Spiritual man, you are going away now. Marina's body, you are going away now. I set fire upon you. I set fire upon the spirit of man. Fire! 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 Sheremus. Magara segede de bobosh. Lekete segede de baba. Maliba segede de bobosh. La segede de baba. La segede de baba. La segede de baba. Rata zangada robo segede Zaza katere bosi. Megere sondele re baba. Rata kasanta karibo sege. Le kata zanga da rabo. Rata kete ba kasanta bo. Le shegere re bos. Magas. Le shagadas. Bati para di Holy Ghost. Le shegere re baba. Bati para di Holy Ghost. Masegere re bobosh. I command. Yes. Every yoke of poverty. Yes. Every yoke of affliction. Yes. Every yoke of oppression, yes, in your lives, yes, by the power of the Holy Ghost, oh, yes, I scatter the yokes now, Masi, they scattered now, Masi, they scattered now, Yakarabos, they scattered now, Rosagarabos, in the name of Jesus, amen. It is written, shall the prayer be taken for the mighty, or the love of the delivered. But thus said Lord God, even the captives and the mighty shall be taken away, and the prayer of the devil shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contended with him. And I will say that children. 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 It is also written. We are for God that has exalted Jesus. And has given him a name above every name. That the name of Jesus, yes. every knee in heaven, must on bow. earth, must bow. under the earth shall bow. Must bow. And every tongue shall confess must. Yes. to the glory of God the Father. Oh, yes. Jesus is Lord. Oh, yes. Every demonic power in the heavens, yes. on the earth, yes. under the earth, yes. in the water, yes. that the hell shall like at him. Yes. By yes. the power of the Holy Ghost, I crush the now. Amen. I crush them now. Amen. I crush them now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. No more struggling. Amen. No more oppression. Amen. No more pain. Amen. No more poverty. Amen. No more embarrassment. Amen. No more reproach. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You will move from glory to glory. Amen. From grace to grace. Amen. From power to power. Amen. From to favor. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Roshiraba. Thank you, wonderful Father. In Jesus' wonderful name, we pray. Amen. Somebody shout seven thunderous. Hallelujah. 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 If you are shouting, shout it very, very loud. Hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor Nandi. May God bless you. Amen. Point to him and professor that the Lord will renew his strength. Amen. The Lord will use him more. 
and more. In Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for that word. Sin is a blocker of blessing any day. Take away sin out of every life and let your blessings flow. In Jesus' name. Right where you're sitting, Deuteronomy chapter two, 33, verse 23. Deuteronomy 33, 3, verse 23. Moses was about to be taken to heaven. He's about to die. And then he decided, as led by the Holy Spirit, to put things right, to change situations, to correct whatever needed to be corrected. Let's first go back to verse 6, and then we'll come to where we are. Deuteronomy 33, verse 6. Read with me. Let Reuben live and not die, and let not his men be few. Now listen to me. Reuben committed immorality with one of the concubines of the father. The father had it and kept quiet. When the father was to die, Genesis 49, call all the sons together. He said, Reuben, you are my firstborn. He shook his head. You are the one supposed to enjoy double portion of all I ever worked for. Yes. He said, but unstable as water, you will not be useful in life. He went up to my couch. And the Bible says everything about Reuben, heaven closed. But when Moses was to die, a higher anointing. Bible says, Moses made a statement, let Reuben live. Let him not die. Let him not be few. And that was how Wahala ended that day. Any curse put upon your life, stand on your feet, stand on your feet, lift up your both hands. Any curse put up by anybody.